um, welcome. So please, um, I'm going to can Randolph and in this lesson I'll be taking you through how to identify whether a given interval on the real number line is connected or disconnected. So after going through that concept, then we use it to solve these two questions. So let's just take some small recap. So remember that if you say topological space is disconnected, then that means we have two open sets U and V such that U and V are disjoint. So that means their intersection is empty and their union will give you a topological space X. So if this condition is satisfied, then we say our topological space is disconnected. If our topological space is not disconnected, then we see our topological space is connected. So that means if these conditions failed, then that means our topological space is connected. So on a real line, if you want to check whether an interval is connected or not, we can also use some diagrams or the number line, the illustration on the number line. So for instance, if we plot our interval or when we draw it on a number line and we are able to draw a straight line through it without a breakage anywhere, then we see that number line is connected. But if we have the same number line and when we are drawing a line through and there is a breakage somewhere, you see here there is a breakage here. So this breakage will make our number line or the interval on our number line disconnected. So let's use the concept to solve the question. So the first question we have S equals this interval. So you realize that when you have this interval, you can let this be U and this be V. Realize U intersection V. When you take this interval and this interval, they have nothing in common. So that means they are disjoint. And also you realize that their union is equal to X. So that means that this particular interval is disconnected. And we can also illustrate this on the number line. So when you try to plot this interval, you know, from negative 1 to 0 will give us something from here to here. But you know it is open at 0, so that means 0 is exclusive. And this will also give us something like this. So realize when you are sketching this, when we get here, we have to break and continue from here. Realize there is a breakage here. So it makes this particular interval on the number line disconnected. So let's take the second example. We had y to be minus 1, 0, union, 0, 1. So when you try to plot this one, this is our u and this is our v. So we know u intersection v is, even not for anything, we know 0 belongs to this interval and 0 also belongs to this interval. So that means the intersection of u and v is non empty. So that means that it won't satisfy the condition for our topological space to be disconnected. So that means our topological space to be connected. Let's just illustrate this on the normal line and see if it is true or not. We have minus 1 here, 0 here, and 1. So you see, open at minus 1 and close at 0 gives us here. Close at 0 and open at 1 gives us something like that. So you see, we are able to draw a straight line through this interval without a breakage anyway. So we see this particular interval on the real line is connected. I hope you get it. Alright, so I want you to use the same concept too. Explain why this particular interval given here is disconnected. So it is disconnected. But I want you to find out why. It's so simple. So thank you. That's all what we have for you on this. Thank you.